Hello everybody and welcome to part three of the Quad Rossbot project. So today we're going to do uh, the installation of a bracket, a big red bracket here, which will perform two functions in the robot. It will enable a load of sensors to be mounted at the front of the robot and uh, another sensor, the uh, steering potentiometer, which enables us to work out what direction the wheels are pointing in at any given time. And this is particularly useful when the robot has just been turned on because when it's turned on it has no idea what it's been doing previously so it's quite handy to be able to detect what position the wheel's in before it starts moving forwards. So let's have a look at what we've got. Lots of um, gadgetry here in front of us so yeah this main frame and a little subframe and a little um, sub construction here with a gear wheel at the top of it. Now this gear wheel connects to this other gear wheel on top of the steering column by means of that belt uh, looking around there. And the idea is by creating this uh, two to one uh, gear reduction we get more resolution from the potentiometer which is down here. So this is our potentiometer. It's just a standard potentiometer and I've even connected it to a little Arduino for testing. So as soon as this is installed we can test it by uh, moving the steering with our uh, previous test system and uh, seeing what kind of resolution we get. So without further ado Hey, look, there's our mounting points following here, here, these pipe clips, same as what we've used before. Just going to bang the frame onto those pipe clips and uh, fire it up and see if it works. Hey, see you in 10 minutes. Here's our subframe completed and it looks okay, I can't see any major problems with it. Uh, the main thing is that these um, two shafts here are parallel, which yeah they look pretty good and that the, uh, the mounting on the um, potentiometer is nice and true, it looks pretty good to me, I mean, there's quite a bit of flex in that coupling anyway. I think it's slightly off, but really don't think that's going to be a problem. I mean, none of this frame is straight. It's all slightly wonky. So if you to look at it really closely, you'd find loads of mistakes. It wasn't built on a jig. The frame was actually built just as I went along, really. I literally just designed it as I went along. No drawings. A few measurements. That's about it. So... Yeah, it's a bit out, but it's within good enough tolerances to um, get a, a nice result here. We're not looking for super, super accuracy at this stage. Maybe if it was in manufacturing, you know, we'd create a jig and jig it all up and it would be uh, all precise, but not for, uh, not for now. So there's our two to one ratio on the, uh, on the gear. So it'd be really interesting to see what that translates to on the, uh, the Arduino out. So this will give a, a number between 1 and 124. So let's fire up the serial port. Here it is. I don't know if we can see that too well on the camera. Right. Let's um, run the uh, steering. All right. So this is just going to send the steering backwards and forwards. There's the steering. Steering's moving. So let's have a look, see what numbers we get out of here. So let's 
going down on the left hand lock to 304 and then up on the right hand lock to 667 hey so we've got about 320 units of resolution that's easy enough I think let's just have a look at the mechanism going around If we can spot any problems, I can't see anything. All seems good to me. Job done, I think. The next thing to do is to mount the uh, main control panel board on here. So, see there's slots within this red frame here for a sheet of plywood. Plywood's a really good material because it's non-conductive and you can screw things onto it really easily. So cable ties can be put through it uh, just by means of a little drill hole. It's great for securing cameras and sensors. Same is true on the back here. We'll put a big plywood sheet on the back here and use these uh, mounting clips that we've used before. That's been pretty good. So, see you all next time. Bye bye.